Good morning. This is Mike Houston with your Friday morning weather hazard briefing for Southeast Idaho. Looking at the key points across the forecast area today, we have a, a winter storm system which is continuing to progress through the region. It should exit east into Wyoming later tonight. As a result, we have strong gusty winds and a wind advisory extending from Burley over to Pocatello through the early afternoon hours. And uh, we also We'll see moderate snowfall, generally from the I-15 corridor eastward into the eastern mountains where we have winter weather advisories ongoing. Getting out into the latter half of the weekend, we have a second weaker storm moving into the region, and that'll generally continue through Tuesday. Not seeing anything too overly organized here, so just a longer period of uh, some light snowfall. Looking at satellite imagery this morning, we do see that low pressure system progressing through southern Idaho. We did see a quick shot of snow across uh, the Snake Plain this morning. That stuff is working into the eastern highlands as I speak. And then a little later, we expect to see uh, a convergence event sweeping out of the Central Mountains and into the I-15 corridor by mid-morning. Looking at our weather risk matrix of doom, uh, we generally have some moderate impact events here for the Snake River Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, and Eastern Highlands. Um, generally from the I-15 corridor eastward, the impacts will be snow. And uh, from the Magic Valley over to Pocatello, we expect to see some strong gusty winds, and those will continue through the early afternoon hours. The snow in the Eastern Highlands will continue into the evening hours. Uh, we should see some decent clearing overnight tonight. Uh, some decent radiation, so much colder temperatures and some fog forming in some of the valley locations. And then, as I mentioned, that next storm system, a weaker, unorganized system, will begin to put, progress into the region Sunday, uh, producing snow across the area. And uh, really nothing too organized at this point um, uh, in terms of uh, concern. Looking at our watches and warnings, uh, currently this morning, the brown area indicates that uh, wind advisory extends from Burley on over to Pocatello, uh, and that'll continue into the early afternoon hours. The purple, purple area here indicates the uh, winter weather advisories that we have ongoing for the eastern highlands, and we have added the uh, Pocatello region, basically from Shelley south to Pocatello along the I-15 corridor and points eastward. We expect to see a convergence event setting up today with uh, moderate snowfall. And then we did upgrade the advisory here across the Bear River Range to a warning. We're starting to see accumulations down there running upwards of 15 plus inches um, today and tonight. Okay, high temperatures today, still running fairly cool, generally in the 30s throughout the Snake River Plain and Eastern Magic Valleys and 20s in the Central Mountains and Eastern Highlands. The snow accumulations that we're expecting for today uh, generally less than an inch out here in the heart of the Snake River Plain, but along that I-15 corridor, as I mentioned, running from uh, Shelley down to Pocatello, we could see anywhere from one to four inches, uh, particularly along these uh, eastern bench areas. So we have issued a winter weather advisory for that area. The winter weather advisory for the eastern highlands is basically ongoing. Um, and you can see we do see, uh, especially across higher elevations, accumulations anywhere from uh, four to nine inches across the area. We did upgrade the advisory here for the Bear River Range to a warning, as I mentioned. We were seeing accumulations upwards of 12 to 15 inches in that area for today and tonight. In addition to the snow, we do expect to see wind across the region. Um, in fact, it is already beginning to blow over in the Burley area this morning. It will continue to intensify as we get into mid-morning hours where we may see wind gusts upwards of 60 miles an hour across some of the higher terrain here and across the South Central Mountains and upwards of 45 to 50 mile an hour gusts running from Burley and maybe extending as far east as American Falls and Pocatello. But this will be the epicenter of the stronger winds in this region here. We will see some Winds also coming in out of the Central Mountains, uh, so some gap winds up here uh, near Arco, uh, Mud Lake area, but uh, not nearly as strong as what we'll see here in the Eastern Magic Valley today. High temperatures for Sunday, warming just a bit, 
generally running in the 30s here in the Snake River Plain and close to 40 over here in the Eastern Magic Valley. We see some moderating temperatures as well in the Central Mountains with readings generally in the upper 20s to lower 30s and similar readings here across the Eastern Highlands. As I mentioned, we do have the uh, next storm system beginning to work into the area on Sunday, um, impacting mainly the Central Mountains and uh, Northeast Highlands with some modest snowfall accumulations here running upwards of one to three inches. Again, that's a fairly unorganized system. It'll continue with light snow uh, into Monday and Tuesday. Okay, in summary, we do have the remnants of uh, a storm system working through the region today and exiting off to the east tonight. It will bring strong winds to Burley and Pocatello through the early afternoon hours where we have a winter, or excuse me, a wind advisory out. Uh, in addition to the winds, we have snowfall that is expected to develop along the I-15 corridor eastward uh, where we have winter weather advisories that are currently in effect uh, through this evening. A second weaker storm arrives on Sunday and will continue through Tuesday with uh, light, unorganized snowfall across the region during that time frame. That's all I had for you here this morning. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at one of the avenues here listed on the screen. Thank you.